Today I'm going to show you the false gospel of Answers in Genesis and Ken Ham. If you go to the Answers in Genesis website and look up their gospel presentation, you'll come to this video in which they say you have to turn from your evil way to get to heaven. Would you like to receive this gift of eternal life? You say, yes, I would like to do that. I'd like to clarify some things of what that involves. The first thing is trusting Him. Trusting Him and what He did on the cross for the penalty for your sin. You're not trusting in anything that you're doing or that you've done to merit yourself to get to heaven, but you're trusting in what Christ did alone. So you have to trust Christ, but according to Answers of Genesis, trusting in Jesus is not enough to get to heaven. Listen to this. The second thing is, we must repent. The Bible tells us that we must turn from our sin, turn from our wicked way, and begin to follow him. And that's what. So you have to turn from your wicked way to get to heaven, according to Answers in Genesis. The Bible says that turning from your evil way, or turning from your wicked way, is works. It says in Jonah 3.10, and God saw their works that they turned from their evil way. So turning from your evil way or turning from sin is works. And works has absolutely nothing to do with getting to heaven. Because nobody can get to heaven based on their works. The Bible says, for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It's the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And again, turning from your sins, turning from your evil way is works according to God. And God said that, Salvation has nothing to do with works. It's not of works. You know, people that are trusting in their works to get to heaven, Jesus talks about them in Matthew chapter 7. It says, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. So they know the name of Jesus, but what are they actually trusting in to get them to heaven? Well, they're trusting in their many wonderful works. It says, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And what does Jesus say? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So Jesus said, I never knew you. Because they never put their trust in him to save them. They're, they were trusting in their works to save them. So Answers in Genesis is wrong when they say that you have to turn from your wicked ways to get to heaven. That is works. So what do you have to do to get to heaven? The Bible says, what must I do to be saved? And it's talking about being saved from hell. And the answer is, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You have to believe that you know Jesus is the Son of God. He's God in the flesh. And he died on the cross for your sins, was buried, and that he rose again from the dead. The Bible says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. That's it. It's putting all your trust on Jesus to save you, believing that he's the son of God, he's, that he died on the cross for your sins, was buried, and that he rose again from the dead. It has nothing to do with works or turning from your sins. You know, of course you want to, you know, live the best life that you can, but that has nothing to do with going to heaven. So Answers to Genesis is wrong when they say you have to turn from your sins or turn from your wicked way to get to heaven. So let me know what you think about this in the comments. Be sure to like the video and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.